All right, we got today's mail call. This is a figure I've been wanting for quite a while. And I already did open it up to take a look at it, make sure everything was okay. And uh, I got the club exclusive recoil. Now I really like his uh, camouflage. And um, he came with quite a few accessories. He's got, um, it looks like that was from uh, the 25th Lieutenant Falcon, but it comes, it has a place where you can put his knife and uh, let's open them up. Take a little easier look at them. And, uh, I do plan on saving this card back. And if y'all hear any thunder in the background, I got a, uh, there's a really bad storm rolling through. All right, Let's see, there's his uh, stand with his name on it. I really enjoy these. I like that they put the name on them. Let's close this up so I don't accidentally cut myself. And take that off. And yeah, he, he looks absolutely fantastic. Let's see. Yeah, that's the inside. Let's see. Standard, you know, he's got the he's got that movement on his left wrist. Uh his helmet, can it come off? Yes, it can. I'm not a big fan of him having sunglasses. I kind of wish they had had not have done that but it's fine and then let's see which the, the right wrist has got that so the left it has this the right has that movement oh it's a little stiff there it goes but yeah man he looks i, I really like this camouflage Got the double jointed knees, the foot articulation. He's got a holster, he's got a little pistol. It's a weird looking pistol. <laughs> but, a nice little holster for it. Um, there's his backpack. It looks like the Lieutenant Falcon backpack. Can it pop open and it can, okay. And yep, the radio comes out. That's pretty cool. Nice little feature. And uh, just pegs right on in there. And yeah, they got the, it. Can't they got his weird? This is it's kind of strange to me. Like what? What? How would you use this? Oh, we got a Mimi who just came in. I mean, like, like, what? I don't even know how it's supposed to go. Like, is it supposed to be held like that? Like that? Or either way you want, I guess, however you want to hold it. But that's weird. That looks weird to me. But he does have a regular, if I can get this thing out of here. Without breaking it, that is. Looks like an M16 with a grenade launcher. And then, yeah, this is a, looks like a Claymore holder. Look like a bunch of little tiny Claymores. I should say front towards enemy on there, but I guess that it's too much, too much um, to print on there. You got his knife. Goes right here. Don't want to break anything. 
these antennas are hard to, when they're on the shelf because I have these um, trays that I put them in and they're about that tall and they wind up bumping into that stuff. I get those trays from Toy Gear and they're, they're really nice. And, uh, yeah, he feels, yeah, he feels, man, it's, he feels great. Fits in his stand. I like the two peg stand, the right kind of, kind of centers them a little better. They can stand up a little easier. Yeah, man, this, this figure looks fantastic. Let's put his gun in his hand here, try not to break anything. These are a little more forgiving because their their hands have some flex to them. I like that. There we go. And then, sorry, I was a cat going out. Now nah, you get the idea. Anyway, I'm trying to keep these videos short. But yep, here he is. Man, he looks fantastic. Here's his uh, file card. Let y'all pause that if you want to read it. This is the back, just another picture of him. It shows that he holds it like, I didn't even see that. <laughs> so he holds it like this. He holds the hand, but so what's the point of, I guess that's to stabilize it on his arm. I don't know, that's kind of weird to me. But, um. Anyway, here's Recoil. He looks close or similar anyway to his, well, there's some similarities to his uh, 80s counterpart or his, I can't remember what year did he come out, eight, eight, late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there. But uh, he had that digital camo and this is a, like a more updated camo. I, I really like this. I, I think he looks great. And I think his guns were blue. The original ones were blue. I'm, I can't remember. But this is a figure I've had my eye on for a very long time. I I really like the way he looks, um, minus that. But I'm gonna probably display him like this. And uh, he looks fantastic like that. And uh, I'm so, so glad I finally have him. His little closer of what he looks like and I mean there's his back he looks he looks great sorry I'm shaking a little bit I gotta eat something there's a Phoebe but uh sorry my cats are always in the background I um I work a lot so I'm gone a lot and then on my days I, I, I usually work between 50 and 60 hours a week so I'm gone a lot and on my days off, I got so much running around to do that I don't really have much time to just sit and relax. So uh, when I get home from work and I'm at, or I'm making these videos, I get a chance to sit down and sit still for a few minutes. And then that's when the cats they kind of you know they they want attention. They they're hungry, and of course I already I feed them as soon as I walk in the door. But a lot of it is there's wanting attention. And I give them plenty when I get home. I do. I give them plenty of attention. <coughs> but essentially, that's what's, that's why they're always nuts in the background. It's like I'm when I make these videos, I'm just getting home from doing something from being gone for a while. So they're uh, they're just wanting attention. That's all. But anyway, everyone have a good day. Man, that's a fantastic looking figure. Anyway, everybody have a good day and uh, be safe and um, yo-jo indeed, yo-jo.